Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, where police respond to an animal cruelty call where a dog has been left in a vehicle for an extended period of time and when the owner returns, it turns out he is also a sovereign citizen and therefore believes that the laws don't apply to him. In fact, he has no idea what the true definition of statutes are. He also makes claims that uh, his Fourth Amendment right to travel is being violated. I'm okay. Uh, clearly a man who knows what his rights are. So now let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. I don't have it yet, so you're telling me. Let me see if I no, understand this. No, you not drive the vehicle legally on the road without. I'm not started. driving though. That's what I'm trying to say, ma'am. I'm traveling. You I have a Fourth on Amendment. The road without all the oh come on now, dude. The Fourth Amendment has to do with unreasonable searches and seizures. There's nothing in there that says uh, anything about the right to travel. So either you're getting your amendments confused or you just don't know what the hell you are talking about. And I'm willing to bet it's the latter based on what I hear from you later on in the video. That stuff. Now listen, you don't have to get loud. You can de-escalate. I'm just as loud as you are. I'm not being loud. You can argue the point all you want. I, until, okay. If you want it changed, that's what legislation says. I don't. That's who you go to to change your okay. laws. Well, that's the laws that are here. And those that's are not the a law. That that's a insert. use. That's a, a code and statute that is, is not law lawful. Ah, we'll we've got a man of such dizzying intellect that he doesn't need to bother to look up the actual definitions of uh, what he's talking about. I mean, who needs to be bothered with knowledge and everything like that when all you've got to do is drink the uh, lead-laced Kool-Aid and fall down the soft tart rabbit hole and accept everything that you're told? will be enforced okay. in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I so understand. in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, sir, uh -huh. if you want to travel freely on these roads, uh -huh. those are the stipulations that you have to meet. Oh, okay. Well, until they give me the thing, sir? Uh, probably, but I don't believe you I'm going to present it. You can hand it over it. to this officer right there. No, I don't Actually, think so. Uh, yeah, unless you your vehicle is an electric vehicle and the air conditioner is on in there, mm -hmm. you can't leave your dog Okay, well, it was running up until it just went off a few minutes ago, and we are checking out to come back out. We have checked on it. We, as in there's more than one of you, so couldn't one of you have at least uh, took, taken that dog on a leash and let him walk around for a little bit so he isn't in a hot car? I mean, uh... That is just flat out cruel, man. I mean, I wouldn't leave anybody to swelter in a hot car. Let alone a dog that has absolutely no sweat glands. How long the what is? Okay. Good, uh, 28-ish minutes. Okay, I don't understand. The dog's obviously okay. okay. minutes with this weather, the vehicle inside can get up to 100. Okay, but this one's not. The dog, he's obviously okay. He's barking and we're checking out. Y'all keep telling me about laws. So I do, I do need I'm not giving you paper. anything. I haven't broken Is any reasonable, have? articulable well, suspicion. Dude, they've already given it to you several times, but you refuse to even acknowledge that. Okay. So you, so let, hold on, let me understand oh, this correctly. On. You're going to arrest me under what reasonable, articulable suspicion? That's all I'm asking. What? Can I see a supervisor? I just yes, want to see a supervisor. Yeah, supervisor's coming. I just want to ask. Turn what if, uh, Wait Sir, a minute. You're, you're fixing to, to take. To I have right? not reasonably. You know, if you put your hands here, take my phone, please. Uh, yeah, if you reasonably, right? articulably, and tell me a suspicion, and you tell me that you're going to take me to jail. For absolutely nothing, Refusing then that's. You to identify yourself. Well, I, didn't, I asked you to tell me what the reasonable, articulable she suspicion. It to you. you just disagree with it. That's, that's the problem. And, and that's what I asked. So now you're, so you're just going to jump and arrest me automatically instead of giving me no what? Okay, nothing? So the simple solution to this would be just a name. Okay. So I write you your written warning stating you can't ever do this again. <laughs> 
Mr. You do realize that you've taken away my Fourth Amendment right, correct? So you do understand today. that. No, ma'am, I'd like to know what is your hold up, dude. Hold up. You don't get to you don't get to do me. Don't, don't. Yes, I no, can. No. Okay. Don't do that. Don't All right. Do that. Well you're gonna take my knife off. Yes. Okay, well I got a arrested, you cannot do that. I'm not being arrested. Jail. I haven't done anything to be who arrested. Said, who said you're not being arrested? Hmm? But I don't understand what I'm being arrested for. Okay. okay. Where well, in your fourth amendment right that says you so have to understand? Check and make sure that that well, you can't just a, you can't just detain me yeah, for actually, absolutely no reason. Well, no, we, we have a reason. Okay. Right now they're they're investigating uh, uh, social. They're investigating. Investigating animals. what? We're conducting a criminal investigation. Okay, but I haven't At that done point, anything yes. wrong. I haven't okay, done that's anything the case, wrong. I haven't committed a crime. If that there is, is the no case, crime committed, that's all I'm asking. Okay, so and you so don't now, want the answer. We're not going to give you the answer. Okay, okay that's well, fine. That's why if you think, yep. I'm in handcuffs because you have jumped to an absolute conclusion for absolutely so zero so reason. You, uh, no, you're not. I'm not giving you any right to get in my vehicle. I'm trying to. Period. Find you. I'm gonna try to be kind with you. Okay? Please, please right. try to find somebody that will. Please. You, you cannot, in anywhere in this nation, leave an animal unattended in a vehicle unless you have an electric vehicle that stays on and the air conditioner is allowed to be on. Yeah, dude, uh, dogs don't have sweat glands, and panting isn't exactly 100% effective against cars that get well above 120 degrees on the interior. I mean, for those of us that do have sweat glands, I mean, that high of a temperature, 120 plus, is not very comfortable at all. Okay. All right. So, anyways, I have a uh, my dog's not dead. He's I can see that it's not And we're dead, fixing it. We'd have been out in five yeah, minutes, ma'am. I know, but we'd have been out in five minutes. Five minutes. We'd sir, have been out. Sir, this call came out at sixteen twenty. I don't even know what call you're talking about, ma'am. I don't I even know what you're talking about. I got called to come check on the dog. Okay. Check and make sure the animal is not. Well, so you're let not me going get, to hold up. You, okay. Hold on. You were breaking the You've you got to get more of my rights. Right. So I'm not giving you my name, ma'am, because I haven't no. done anything, ma'am. This man has detained me illegally. He's taken away my Fourth Amendment right to freely travel. First of all, like I said before, the Fourth Amendment is not about the right to travel. Second of all, well, uh, you do have the right to travel. It's just that you got to have a valid driver's license, insurance, registration, and all that other good stuff to be able to travel on the uh, roadways, the public roadways, in a automobile, vehicle, landcraft, whatever the hell you soft tards want to call it. And all we, I'm trying this is to do is figure out what's You can address this later. Not, right now, okay. addressing yeah, it I this way is not the way to do it. Which way? You ain't telling me I can get my dog to make y'all happy and send y'all don't leave my vehicle? That would have been something to happen before all of this happened. At this point, if everything got... I'm sorry? It all Ma'am, if he was trying to make it easy, you would have asked me instead of me coming at him and threatening me. I'm not going to be so Discussing things is not raising your voice and doing all the other stuff. Hey, Logan, be sure and video me on this because I haven't done anything. Go ahead. Keep you're, wow. you're welcome to keep videoing because there's okay. one, two, three, four other people videoing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and ours is actually considered evidence. Yes. And we can't, well, we can't just, alter it. I know, it's just a matter of filing for your video and now we got our No, I got video. it. You're fine. Yeah. You're, you're, you're fine to video. It's, it's not a problem. Okay, so once we start with the investigation, you know, at that point, you're both being detained. Okay, just because you're not handcuffed doesn't mean you're not being detained. That doesn't mean you can't just go over to the car. With emotions as high as they are right now, mm -hmm. we don't know what's going on. Okay. Did you see how this has all happened over a dog where we could have yes. gotten out of a tr gotten out of the truck and all uh, an innocent yes. a person that did nothing wrong is now okay, handcuffed. Okay, so first of all, you okay. can't leave your car. You can't leave the dog in the car like okay, that. Okay, well it shuts so off that, after 15 minutes. We had it running when we went okay. in there. So that would be so, that would actually be part of the investigation that we could go through had we been allowed to actually conduct the investigation before things escalated. Yeah, the okay. guy came out here and told us that we need to, uh, we can't leave and that we uh, I need to go get my dog and that uh, that's how it escalated. It sounded as okay. we can't leave. Well, no, you couldn't because you were you were being detained because we're investigating animal cruelty. So we're animal here investigating cruelty. a crime. 
Okay. So that means we have the right to detain whoever we need to. Do you think this is to... cruel to sit there and get an innocent man and put him in a handcuffs and put him okay. in a vehicle? You keep going back to innocent man. We're investigating. We're not. We haven't. Okay. Uh, What's we haven't convicted anybody? Is anybody yet? hurt right now? Is well, that dog we don't. Hurt? We don't know. We're that dog's not hurt. Okay. He's alive. All right. So uh, he's not hurt. He's alive. Uh, dude, uh, check your definitions again. I mean, a creature can be alive and hurting. I mean. That dog could be suffering enormously in that vehicle in the heat. In fact, when you listen to that dog pant here in a few minutes, it's rather excessive, indicating that he's probably uh, really, really overheated. But let's carry on with this dude's stupidity. So this is... I I'm not, I'm just trying to upset because this is up, up, completely okay. ruined the whole day. Oh, poor baby. Now my well, dad's in, in handcuffs. That was his dang, choice. That was not his choice. He did not ask to get put in it. He was uh, actually yeah, forced actually, to. I watched him ask to get put in it. The no, way he, he was didn't asked. Ask. Uh, he, he was actually, they, they actually waited a little longer than I would have. They asked, he asked for the reasonable articulable suspicion and nobody supplied that. Okay. The, we, that was, I've explained it to you. Okay. We're here investigating the cruelty of the animals, leaving the dog in the car with the mm -hmm. car off. That's mm -hmm. a crime. We're here mm -hmm. investigating that crime. That's the reasonable articulable expectation right there that's what so that, we're talking about so that was explained to him they tried this young lady tried to explain it to him he didn't want to hear it okay what hmm. okay oh yeah i ain't trying yeah, to block that's, this that's, dude that's sorry yeah i don't want to don't want to block him in or anything yes if he can get out from where i put go ahead all right so this is just really flabbergasting that's okay. why we don't go to the city because of all this <laughs> that's why we stay at home in this in the country okay well, if that's a lesson you choose to learn, learn from this, I'm sorry, but the, the bigger lesson would be to discuss things. This, we and, did. And well, we, we, but the thing talking. is, I haven't heard him discuss anything yet. I've well, heard him demand. You showed up a little late. I, I, I was a little bit late, so yeah. I can't say exactly what happened before I got here. Yep. Right. Okay, but from the time I got here, he wasn't trying to discuss anything. He was simply demanding things. Well, John, the time you got here, he's in handcuffs. <laughs> Actually, no, I watched him get put yeah, in handcuffs, he was, he, and he, I was wondering why he wasn't that already in handcuffs. Panting, it's ass off. Either yeah. turn on the AC or get it out so that we can give it some water he's, or something. He's, he's going to always pant. He's always going to pant, I'll tell you that. Well, I know the difference between anxiety Well, he's anxiety because he got separation anxiety, so that's why he got some anxiety. Well, it is the same thing. Come on now, dude. Uh, listen to that pant right there. That sounds like a dog who is on the verge of overheating. I'm trucking. I'm starting the truck. I'm starting the truck. I'm starting the truck like you just asked for. What are you okay. doing here? What Come are right, you doing? Come here. When you hear somebody say, "Don't go in the vehicle," you don't try to dive in the truck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are y'all doing? And uh, there you have it, folks. Uh, it just goes to show you that there's a lot of sovereign citizens out there that don't care what the law is when it comes to anything, especially when it comes to either traffic laws or animal cruelty laws. They don't care. They'll uh, break them no matter what. So maybe they'll have that dog taken away from him and uh, that dog will be able to find a better home. Somebody who won't leave him sitting in a car to the point of overheating. At any rate guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.